Cool it. Mm. What up, though? How you doing today, bro? Man, I'm Can't doing well, you. man. I can't even complain, bro. How you? I'm doing all right, man. Just working every day, you know, striving, grinding yeah. every day. You know, some got to get, you know, do what you got to do, you know, make it out here. Um, Shoot, man. How, how's your mental health, man? Physical health, mental health. How you doing, man? Uh, shit, I'm doing pretty good, man. I can't, I can't complain. A little bit of a tough start this morning, but you know, I can't complain, man. I'm, I'm here. I'm breathing. I'm alive. That's all that matters. Shit, I'll be lying if, uh, if I'm saying I'm just Gucci. You know, I've been a lot of shit going on, but you know, we still pushing through. Facts, facts, P B B B B. We all going through it. We all have them days, man. You know, getting that morning days, we don't want to get up, but we push yeah. ourselves to get back up. So we, this is what we do. What we gotta do then for the day, man. Shit, uh, for sure. Yeah. Like for real. So that matters though. We living out, breathing. Exactly. <laughs> for real. But um, first question. Um, what what age you started? You know, smoking and stuff. Um, shit, eighteen, I believe. Yeah, 18, I remember. That's I think that's when I fought, like first started getting into it when I was like 18. Yeah, a lot yeah, most most people that at that age, especially young now, a lot a lot of kids out here like today's generation, they smoke a lot now, but they start smoking up young. Ah yeah, fucking all type of shit, vapes and black and milds and all that extra shit. Yeah, it's definitely you, uh it's a new time. Do you do you still um smoke now? Oh, you smoke from, every time, once in a while? from time, yeah, like every once in a while. Now, it used to be a point where I used to smoke like every fucking day, bro, nonstop, just every day. And then I slowed down over time because, like, now I'm at a point now where I feel as though that weed doesn't really do much for me. It's like what it used to. Like, when you first start smoking, it's fun and like stuff like that. But then, like, over time, if you make it a habit, like, you'll notice that you just really just waste the money. Like, you're high, but then eventually, like, it's just a waste of money over time. Yeah, it's, a, it's like it's like there's no there's no enjoyment there's no enjoyment in it anymore type shit. Yeah, especially when you got like shit going on in your personal life that you got to handle, it kind of like slow you down and keep you lazy. So, yeah, I, I feel like it really depends on where you at in life. Like if you're in a position in life where you got shit that you got to focus on, then weed is probably the last thing you want to get into because that shit had you lazy as fuck. Facts, facts. Cause uh, you got, cause you got uh, it must have your focus too, your surroundings too. Yeah, exactly. It makes like for for me, weed makes like weed makes everything okay. So if you like broke as fuck and like you don't got much going on in life, you smoke weed. Like the weed gonna make you feel okay with that. Like okay, I'm broke, but fuck it. As long as I got my weed, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like that's that's the fucked up thing that we do to you. It make everything okay. In like certain certain circumstances, it shouldn't be like that. True, true, true. Yeah, I, I actually tried um, <laughs> but I was like 19, 18, I think seventeen or eighteen. I, I tried smoking weed. Yeah. Uh, a, a couple of times, got a little tipsy from it, but it it just, it just wasn't for me. I honestly at all. I even tried um, drinking. It really wasn't for me at all. Cause everybody was doing it. I tried vaping too, but like, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 yeah, you blessed. Don't do that shit, man. I always tell people, the people that's like not in it, I always tell them not to do it because that shit is a habit, bro. But see me, like I got a fucking addictive personality. So like anything that I try that I eventually like, anything that I try that I like, it, it turns into a fucking habit. Like that's, <laughs> that's what's dangerous about me. Like that's why I always stayed away from like other shit. Like I never popped pills before. I never fucking smoked cigarettes before. Like I only smoked weed. So I already know, like, if I was to try all that other shit, I'd probably be just like everybody else, too. So I don't even get into that shit. That's good. Everybody, you see everybody doing it, just especially with the vapes now. Like, it's out of control. Yeah. Young, young kids doing it. So I'm like, yo. Yeah. Them uh, shit fuck you up. I heard those mess you up more than um fucking cigarettes. Hell yeah. Like, uh, I think this one girl. I think this one girl who was on the news and shit. Yo, she had to be hooked to like a um a machine because she was vaping too much. She was hooked to a machine and some shit. 
Yeah. You know, so I'm like, yo, I said, yeah, I ain't, I ain't messing with that. Because a lot of people think that ain't nothing going to happen to me. <laughs> they, they ain't nothing going to happen to me, but later on down the line, it's getting, it's getting, it's something's going to happen. Exactly. You're going to end up catching something. Like, that's what a lot of people fail to realize. Like, some it's like, for example, I could be, I can go smoke cigarettes a few years down the uh, a few years, uh, a few years down in, uh, the line, I could have something. It could happen yeah. like that split second. You won't know what's coming. You yeah, know, gonna fuck you up, man. No good for the health, man. Must of your teeth, mm -hmm. skin. Oh, uh, nah, nah. Stop. Nope. But um. Do you, do you see yourself having like do you see yourself having a big family? Uh yeah, I always wanted I always wanted a big family growing up. Um I always wanted just like like two kids, like two or three kids. So I don't know, probably not like a super big family, but just like a normal size family, I guess. But only time would tell. I could be saying this now, but then later on down the line I end up having fucking hella kids, so ain't no telling. <laughs> It would be like that, man. It would be like that. A lot a lot of people end up having um big families and stuff like that. Yeah. Hey, don't don't you do you, don't you find it ironic the fact that you know we gotta pay for our own children just to have our own children? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. I was actually just watching a video about something like that, about like how um it was like how the government controls everything and how like our kids isn't really our kids because like everything is controlled by the government and all the extra shit. I think it's fucked up to be really honest. You know, I think we're living in, in times now where people got to start waking up and realizing a lot of shit. But that's life, man. That, that's, that's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's life for you. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Like, I, I don't get it, bro. <laughs> that's, what best. that's what it's just best to just enjoy your kids, man. Like, yeah, you don't have kids, enjoy your kids. Like, enjoy it, bro. Real talk, just enjoy your kids. That's all it's about. Enjoy you see yourself it. having a lot of kids. Nah, maybe I, I, I me personally, I want to adopt kids. Cause most, most, Cause, kids, oh, that's different. Yeah, a lot of kids out there, we, a lot of kids on out there on God, fathers and mothers out there. So it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, only that's thing dope. it costs a lot of money though. That's the only thing. It costs a lot of money. Kids is expensive as fuck, man. <laughs> bikes. Bikes. Uh do you do you plan on moving out of your city at that point of time? Hell yeah. I plan on as soon as as soon as my big break come, I plan on leaving and getting the fuck up out of here as soon as I can. <laughs> as soon as I can. <laughs> It ain't nothing here, man. This this shit is behind me. Like I didn't already wipe my hands with this shit. It's it's behind me, bro. <laughs> Good man. Do you do you know like where you from, right? Do you know like the crime rate and like top of size there? Um, it's not as big as other cities because my city is like real, real small. Like of course we get crime and shit, but it's not as as much as other cities, only because my city is real small. So it ain't really like, it's not crazy out here, like how other cities is. The only thing I would say about this city is it's just very cold. Like right now it's snow all over the fucking place here. Snow in here too. <laughs> yeah, it's just real cold. There's not really much to do here. There's not a lot of money to be made here. Like the only thing to do really in this city is just work your ass off. Like if you're not at work, then it really ain't shit to do outside of going to work. True. Fuck. Yeah. Facts. Kids, if you working, you gotta keep busy too. I said keep you busy. Yeah. For real. Shoot, man. Um, when you down, right? When you when you down, right? Like you going through you when you going through like tough times and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. or, or you go through, you know, depression and anything. How how do you deal with it personally? How do you handle it? Like what do you do to handle it? I, I, nowadays I've been trying to do shit to like distract my mind. So like I try to like get in the gym. I've been in the gym heavy recently, just working out like crazy. And um, really that's pro that's probably it. Just distracting my mind with something else. Like like whenever I have a bad day, I try to hurry up and like get rid of the thought. 
you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm thinking mm-hmm. of something or if I'm overthinking in a moment, I try to hurry up and do something to where like I get rid of that thought, whether that's working out, whether that's doing something productive, doing some push-ups, you know, making a video, like trying to do something else other than just sit there and dwell on the situation. Cause I understand that hard times don't last forever. You know, and sometimes you just gotta just shut the fuck up and deal with the problems that you face <laughs> until you get to where you wanna be. Like all honesty though, like that's that's really how the, the shit go. Like, I mean, there's really nothing really you can do about the hard times you go through. Another you really just gotta shut the fuck up and just take it high. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> like, cause nobody give a fuck about your problems as a nigga. That's one thing I learned growing up. Nobody give a fuck about your problems. Nobody give a fuck if you're happy. Nobody give a fuck if you sad. Nobody give a fuck if you broke. None of that shit. They don't give a fuck. As a nigga, you gotta prove yourself to people. Nobody's gonna give a fuck about how you feel and none of that. So it's really best. It's it's sad that it's like that, but niggas don't give a fuck. That's why you just gotta shut the fuck up, lift them weights, and get your money up. That's the only Facts. thing that really matters as a dude. Facts, true to the people, true to the people, big facts. That's all we can do, man. That's all, all we can do. Is, all we can do is just deal with it, bro. Like we're sometimes you gotta talk to yourself too. Like chill, chill. I do that yeah. shit all the time. Talk to yourself. Fuck, be thinking that should be weird, but that shit sometimes that shit come in handy, like. Talking to yourself, building that 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 friendship with yourself, having those convos, looking at yourself in the mirror, telling yourself, "Man, this shit gonna be alright. I ain't even, <laughs> I ain't even finna sweat this shit. I, I'm, I'm gonna forget about this shit tomorrow morning." Like, <laughs> yeah, sleep it off, man. So you, you sleep that shit off. Real Word, time. yo. Word. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you like a um? Are you dude? Are you a thinker? Like a deep thinker? Like do you think a lot? Very, very. Definitely a deep, a deep thinker. Same here, same here, same here. That be my thoughts. I'll be writing them down my notes. Is it it's be my thoughts, man? Uh yeah, that's how you come up with the best shit, just being a free thinker, being alone. Nice you, won't, you won't become a, a thinker until you start learning to be alone. Like once you be alone, you start learning like them. I'll be thinking about a lot of crazy ass shit. <laughs> Wait, what is your what's your sign as like what's your sign and shit? Virgo. You a Virgo too? Yeah. When your birthday? September twelfth. Say for real? Yeah. September twelfth. You lie like a motherfucker. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I ain't know that, nigga. My shit September tenth. Oh shit. Oh. That's, okay. That's some wild shit. So your birthday really September twelfth? Yeah, September twelfth. Born in two thousand two. Damn, so I'm a year older than you. And you yeah. fuck your, your birthday two days after mine. That's crazy as fuck. <laughs> that's, that's probably why we think like, we'd be on the same level of thinking and shit. People think us Virgos is fucking toxic and crazy, but we one of the most intelligent motherfuckers on this planet. Facts. To the people. And a lot of people won't know that because you're quiet. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why we so intelligent because we fucking, we know how to shut the fuck up and just analyze and learn. Like, yep. that's how we do most of our learning, just learning and peeping the scene, seeing what motherfuckers is on. Yep. Pe- pe- people, too. Yeah. Pe- people, you just, that's how I am all day. All day. When my work, all day, analyze everything. Yeah, we, day. Only, we only speak when it's needed. Facts. If I need some help with your mom, I'm going to say something. But I ain't going to talk to you. I'm, I'm getting busy. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. busy. <laughs> Word. Facts. Yeah, I fuck with that. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. Big Virgo. <laughs> uh how often you go out in public? If you do if you do, what places you go? Like, what you like, um, you like to go? I barely be out in public to be honest. I barely be out. If I do be out, I'd probably be like at the barber shop or like grocery store or some shit like that. But other than that, or the gym. But other than that, I'm I'm mostly home and at work. I don't really do too much, especially nowadays. It's cold as fuck outside. I don't really be doing too much, to be honest. I don't really enjoy being seen anymore like how I used to. Like I used to like being out and just going places, going places with the homies and shit like that. But I'm more I'm be in the house playing my game. And if I'm not at home playing the game, then I'm at work. Facts. That that's how it is now. The same thing with me, man. Like. Sometimes like you just gotta get away from everything type shit. Like, I mean, keep you out of shit. Facts. 
it just keeps you out of shit. Like a lot of shit don't even be worth the time and the money, to be honest. Like, and that's what I've been on too, just trying to save my money more, just be smarter. Like, if I don't got nothing really, if there's not no money to be made outside or anything like that, then there's really no point in me even being out there, to be honest. Facts. I'm, I'm saying I be I be home. I be home. I, I, bro, all I do really is work. I do my, I do what I got to do and come back home. I be exhausted. Yeah. I, be, I, be, be, I be drained, man. That's that, <laughs> that's that, that's that man shit, though. You, you becoming a man. Like, when you're a man, you don't, a lot of things don't really excite you other than you just having your stuff together. You don't really care to be out and none of that stuff. It'd be little stuff that make you happy when you get older. Facts. Depend, depending on what you like. <laughs> Yeah, like I just enjoy like little shit that make me happy nowadays is just heading to the gym and being able to come home and lay in my bed or going to work for a long ass shift and come home, eat me some good food and just relax. Like you just start being blessed at the little things. You don't really care about a lot of shit. If I like now, I see you, you now. Me? Yeah, I hear you now. Wi Fi okay, cut right. out. Uh, to to the people, do you see yourself performing on stage? Any, any Sometime, moment? man. I don't know. I I haven't really thought too much of it. Like if if the opportunity came to me, then I, I don't see why not. But yeah, probably sometime. One of one of these one of these days or months. Yeah, I think that would be dope as hell though. I can see it. Though. I'd be fired. I can see it. Yeah. I'm finna start making some um some more music though, like some deep shit. You know, I've been um trying to get back into writing. So I just gotta really just find the time to really make a lot of the music that I want to make. I haven't really been making music recently. So th- this new batch of music that I plan on putting out is definitely gonna be something meaningful and different. We we waiting on it. It's gonna be dope. I know yeah. for a fact it's gonna be fire. <laughs> we're going to put that out as soon as possible. Say less, say less. Shoot, man. Um, what are the mo- what what is the um, uh them uh shoot. What's the biggest life lessons you learned, you know, coming up? Take just take your time. Stop feeling like the world owe you shit. Um, and the only reason I say that is because, you know, growing up, I was always, you know, a point the finger type of guy and a complainer. And I, I used to always complain about shit, complain when things don't work out. But then the old, older I got, I realized like life is what you make it. Life ain't going to move unless you move. Um, life ain't going to get better unless you develop the mind to make your life better. You know, if you continue to fucking be lazy and not do nothing with your life, then expect the same outcome to happen. I mean, you know. And don't expect that, don't don't think everything is supposed to happen at one time. Like social media will make you feel behind on shit. Social media will make you feel like you ain't got certain things. Um, it'll make you compare yourself. Like when I used to do YouTube heavy, I used to always compare myself to other YouTubers that was getting more views than me. And I mm-hmm. compare, I'm like, oh, they're getting views, doing the same shit I'm doing. Why, why are they growing and I'm not growing? Like I'm doing the same thing they do, doing and I'm not growing. And I had to realize, like, bro, you just got to wait your turn, man. The same fucking shit that happened to so-and-so ain't going to happen to you. You know, you got to wait your turn and do what the fuck you need to do. And and, and God going to bless you when the time comes. Facts. True to the people. True to the man. people. Real talk. Real talk. Um, what, what, does winning, what does winning mean to you? Winning? Winning. Uh, freedom. All winning is for me is just freedom. I, I I don't really care to be the richest guy or to be the most successful man on the fucking planet. I just want to be free mm-hmm. to the point where I don't have to clock in and work for nobody ever again. Facts. We 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 on we on our timing too, bro. Mm-hmm. It, it, it working the, the the working shit not for everybody, man. Hell no, nah, especially for us free thinkers, people that think for ourselves. Hell no, nah, it's slavery. Facts. That's that's just the, that's the new way, man. That's the new way we say slavery, man. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of people just get stuck, man. In one position, like you're not supposed to do that. That's because you know I mean? a lot of people don't. A lot of people aren't seeking knowledge. The only way to be free is to have the knowledge. If you don't have knowledge, then you're never gonna be free. 
you got to educate yourself and, and and educate yourself to the point where you're breaking out of the system. You're not going to break out of you don't know shit. Facts. Facts. Truth and people. Um, shoot. What is a question that you, that you receive that you hate the most? Oh. Uh, like any of your supporters ask you a crazy question that you that you, did, that you don't like. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I didn't got asked a lot of crazy ass shit, but I don't ever look at it and be like pissed off about the shit though. I kind of just be like, I be laughing at it sometimes. <laughs> Some, sometimes it'd be some funny shit. I don't know. I think the craziest question I probably got asked is like. Are you a female? <laughs> yeah, my fuckers. When I used to, when I first started my channel, people used to think I was a girl because of my hair and shit. And I got like a baby face, and I don't got facial hair, so a lot of motherfuckers used to be like, "Oh, is this a female? Is this a tranny?" I'm like, "Bro, I'm a fucking nigga." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah. uh, yo, I, I used to get that shit a lot too. I going to have my long hair, yo. Yeah. They used to get on me, I'm like, yo. Yo, I'm a man, nigga. For all my niggas. Yo, I feel you, bro. I mean, I should get that. I still get that now. Should yeah, be my be, they be wild. And like, if you got, if you got dreads without a beard, they're going to think you a dyke. Facts. Facts. That's that means you're dying, yo. Yeah, yo. I don't be tripping on it, though. That's just, <laughs> it come with the territory. <laughs> Facts. Damn. What, what's, what's like one of your favorite meals? Um, shit, right now, it's been fucking fish and rice. That's all I've been eating recently. Fish and rice? For yeah. dinner? Yeah, I, I eat the same shit every day. Like, I don't switch up shit. Like, I eat the same thing every single day. You are, what was, like, what's for breakfast for you? Um, probably, like, three to four eggs. Probably, like, three, three eggs, three, four eggs. Um... Two slices of wheat bread and an avocado on the side with probably like a little bit of fruit. And then for my dinner, I usually have some salmon, some wild caught salmon with some jasmine rice. Then I usually have like a protein shake in between the day. Like just shit like that. Baked chicken, like stuff to help me get bigger and shit. Mm -hmm. that's, pretty, that's pretty much it though. Just fruits, fish. Baked chicken, simple shit. You got, you got, you got, you got bulk up, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to bulk up. That's that's my goal, man. The bulk up right now, man. Got to get big. I was like one forty three. I dropped that to one thirty five. Like yeah, yeah. You gonna get there? You do that shit every single day. Before I started going to the gym, I was doing a hundred push ups a day. And I got these little twenty pound dumbbells. I was doing a hundred of them bitches a day. I just do a hundred of everything. Like okay. that, that, that's all I do every single day. Like YouTube motherfuckers, they be trying to make this working out shit harder than what it is. Yeah, make it like, difficult. Make yeah. it sound cool, but it's not. It's easy. That shit really easy as fuck. Like you can build muscle. A lot of people be sleeping on push-ups. Nigga, you can build muscle just off doing push-ups. If you do like 200 of them bitches a day, like clean push-ups with a good form and nice and slow, you'll build muscle. And as long as you just eating a lot of fucking food, like a lot of carb. Uh, not too much carb, but enough carb, enough protein, and uh, make sure your fats is is real. Like at a minimum, you'll be good. Mm -hmm. But I have yeah. an app on my phone called My Fitness Pal. So if you ever want to count your calories, you can just search in what you about to eat in the app, and then it's gonna tell you everything that you eat. And it's it's dope. It make everything easier. Mm. Yeah, I send it to you after this live, so you can um. So you can get to it. That's really how I've been keeping track of like my macros and shit like that. Yo, a lot, yeah, a lot of people attend to. I say it's to people like a lot of people attend to like just eat for the pleasure of it. Mm -hmm. But in reality, you just laying on that all that all that weight. You gotta burn them calories, bro. Yeah, you got to. That's another thing too. Like I'm glad you said that. Like another to really get fit, you got to change your relationship you got with food. Like a lot of people eat like like what you said they eat for the comfort, but like once you get into this fitness shit, you'll notice like all everybody that's in shape they eat what they need. They don't eat 
they don't eat extra. They eat just enough and they eat exactly what they need for the sake of their body. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I eat the same thing every day because I don't really give a fuck about food tasting good no more. I don't. <laughs> yeah, because I only eat strictly for my energy, strictly to give me good energy and for me to have some fucking dope ass muscles. Nothing more, <laughs> nothing less. Thanks. True to the people. Hell yeah. you right to get right. Get word. Yeah. For real. For real. Bulk up, y'all. Bulk up, man. Get in there. Um, what do you see yourself doing when you get old? <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. I'll be trying to, these days to really just think <laughs> in the moment. Uh, I know I'm going to be doing something productive, though. Something that, that got to do with, like, probably helping kids. That's always been, like, my dream to help people. I can see myself, like, being old as shit, just trying to help kids, like, that grew up in situations that I grew up in. I wouldn't mind starting, like, a like a football team or something. I can like, see that happening, too. Yeah, yeah, like, being a coach or, like, I want to do something that involves helping inner-city kids that came up, like, how I came up, that didn't really have two-parent households. Um, that was like born and raised in a ghetto. Like I want to change those type of kids, and then and show them that it's another side to this shit. So that's good. I mean, that's good. Shit, to to the people. Um, what would you? What's something you like? What this? What's something you love about life in general? It is what you make it. That's the cool thing I like about life because you can you can choose. You can start today. You can wake up one day and decide you want to be a whole new person and you can make it happen. You can decide you don't want to be broke no more and start making money. Like, that's what I like about life. Like, as long as you got two fucking hands, two feet, you can do anything you want in this motherfucking life. Like, everybody got free will to just do whatever they want to do. That, that's I think that's a beautiful feeling. Facts. It's your life. Do what you want to do. Not nobody control you. It's your yeah. life. Do what you want to do. <laughs> no matter what it is, go out and do something stupid. <laughs> right, that yeah. shit is a, it's a power. It's a superpower. A lot of people don't look at it like that, but that's how I be envisioning life. Like that's that's a whole power. You can literally manifest what you want right now and make it happen within the next year if you just put the work in. Facts. Well, what are your thoughts on um? What are you doing to friends not saving each other? Friends not saving each other. Yeah. Um, what do you mean by that? As far as, for example, right? I can have a friend, right? Say if I had a group of friends. Let's say, for example, we had a group of friends type shit. And a bad situation happened. And all them niggas just run off and leave you for dead. And leave you for dead. How you feel about that? I feel like uh, it's expected. It's expected. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't be doing certain shit to the point where um you depend on friends. I mean, that's expected. Friends, not everybody going to come with you to the top. Not everybody going to be real. And I feel like as a man, you just got to be understanding to that fact. You shouldn't depend on nobody but yourself because friends will fold on you. Friends will leave you. The moment you get locked up, they will leave. Nobody's going to look after you but yourself. Two, so, two people. You shouldn't put that much trust in the people as it is to where you you just shouldn't. All you got is yourself at the end. Everybody gonna jump shit when shit get hard. Yep. They they, they talk that talk, but put it, don't put it in action. Yeah, that's why I don't really have friends now, man. Like I got friends, but all my homies is more so like like we chop it up on the phone, we you know, shit like that, but we don't hang out all the time. We don't like getting into shit. Like we literally just talk on the phone from time to time and that's it. Like, I'm a one-man army. I, I don't really enjoy being with a lot of people. I don't enjoy having a lot mm -hmm. of friends. It's not good anyway. I just, yeah, I don't enjoy it. I like depending on myself. I don't really like having people around because that fucks shit up. You do. You do. Yeah, uh, I'll set you back, too. Mm -hmm. Word. Must have your whole whole thing you got going on. You don't need that around you. You don't. Um... Do you see yourself ever going back to school? Like college, anything? 
Nah, that ain't never that that ain't something that's on my list. I always hated school. Like I I don't look at school like how the average person look at school. So for that reason alone, I probably wouldn't go back. I look at school the same way I look at jobs. Like oh yeah. It's, it's, oh hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sit yo, bro. Know? Same here. Hell yeah, me too. That's why I never the only difference with school and jobs is I get paid to work at a fucking job. I don't get paid to go to school. So that's the only reason I tolerate working because I get paid for it. <laughs> but other than right. that, school is a piece of fucking shit. It's programming, it's ran by a bunch of people that controls the curriculum. Like they teach you not to be a free thinker, but they teach you to be a worker. And that's the reason why a lot of people are in a the predicament they're in, putting their trust into these fucking right. schools. Fact that they didn't really teach you no real shit at all, man. It's a prison, man. Honestly, it's a prison. Exactly. Strictly prison, man. Inmates. <laughs> <laughs> Word, inmates, my nigga. You ain't free, nigga. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> sit down. And that nigga's wilding. <laughs> yeah. Word. Uh, what's your favorite? What's your favorite childhood memory? Um, probably like doing shit with my dad and shit. Watch a Fresh Prince with my dad. I remember it was a uh, it was a time where I, I had got up at like four a.m. I had woke up from a fucking nap or some shit, and uh, we had, we had made cookies and watched Fresh Prince all motherfucking night. It'd be memories like that that'd be like my favorite childhood memories. I ain't really have a crazy childhood though growing up. I was kind of like a normal kid, to be honest, just doing normal kid shit. But probably just memories of my pops. Good, man, good. It's a beautiful day, man. Beautiful yeah. day, you know, the good moments, you said, the good moments, the good memories you hold on to, man. Yeah. Good ones, good ones, it's worth it. It's worth it, for sure. Word. Um, has any Anybody ever like leaked any any of your music or leaked anything of yours? Nah, I ain't never had that happen. No. Nah, I don't send people shit like that often, so it's really hard for you to leak my shit because I don't really send people things. So I never had that happen for real, for real. I hope it never happens. Shit. <laughs> good, 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 good. That's good. Like, no, yo, this is hot. This this new song's hot. Yeah. Word. <laughs> they be wild with that, yo. They be wild with that. Nah, motherfuckers be hacking people's emails and shit, getting songs and and their emails and leaking them like that. They be getting, they be getting them links too. Nah, real talk. Facts. Uh, what do you think? What What do you think? Uh, more. What do you think humans were actually created for? Like, what what is like the sole purpose of us really being here, other than just working most of our lives? I think every person within the human life has their own individual purpose. Like, that's what I believe. I don't believe everybody's sent here for the same reason. Like, I feel like everybody has a different purpose, and sometimes your purpose can be something so small and mediocre. Like it's some people that that was designed to fucking play sports. Like they just have the genetics to play sports. Their body is made for sports. They're athletic. Like they're just designed for that. Then you got some people that was born with vocal cords and they're designed to sing. Not everybody was born with vocal cords to sing. So you got some people that was like, everybody's just different. You got some people that was designed to be fucking a lawyer. Some people that was designed to be like everybody I feel like has a different purpose within this world. And I feel like um I feel like our duty is to not just be here living, but to find that purpose. Because once you find that purpose, it makes life easier. Life is only hard when you don't know your direction or what you're what you're doing. That's when it becomes hard and that's when it becomes shitty because you don't know why you're here. You're just going to work every day. You you don't have no excitement. But once you find your purpose, you know what you need to be doing. You know. Like everything is easy. It's like a guide almost. It's like a fucking map to life. Facts, facts. I feel like I feel like I feel like a lot of us. I feel like we're meant. I feel like all I feel like all of us are meant to be creative. I feel like we're all meant to be, you know, just just creative, man, and talented, man. Like, it's like a lot of people 
And I feel like the, I feel like a lot of people forget that. I feel like we can do way more than just work all our lives. You know what I'm saying? People work their life away and they have mm-hmm. regrets. Then I should have done this more. I should have done that more. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you sit back and, and, and when I sit back and analyze, right? <laughs> when somebody can analyze Kai Sinet, that nigga created the word Riz, my nigga. You got you look at X X X the time show. The nigga created a word called get you, nigga. Do you know how creative we are, my nigga? Just just by using your imagination, nigga, you are very creative. You can be very creative. Make that shit into reality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You see all these words evolving. It's just different words. Same meaning. It might be the same meaning or a different meaning. It's like a lot of words evolve that we're able to create things over time. It's crazy. Yeah, it's super crazy. And it, it kind of goes back to what I was saying in our last interview when I was saying like how we as human beings are the only life species that keeps evolving over time. No other species evolves more than the humans. Like we are going to constantly evolve over and over and over and over. Because that, that, our, our creativity, you know, our brain capacity and things of that nature. You know, oh. I kind of feel like the creativity go out the door when you start getting older, you start having responsibilities. Like, that's why I tell people all the time it's important to keep your inner child like that inner child. Like, you, you, you know, recall, like, you know, how like when you're young and you're a kid, you got all these creativities, you creating stuff, you drawing, you doing all like. I remember when I was a kid when we didn't have certain shit or we couldn't afford certain stuff, we used to make it ourselves. Like, I used to play with WWE action figures and shit growing up. And I didn't have enough money to buy like the ring. Like I don't know if you remember, but they used to have rings where you can buy the rings and play the action mm-hmm. figures in the ring. We didn't have enough money to buy that type of shit, so we would make our own motherfucking ring and put like pencil sticks on the corner and mm-hmm. like tie a rope around, like just stuff like that. Be making me think like we were so creative as kids when we didn't have shit, but, but we would make our we would make ways to make certain stuff. And I feel like when you become an adult, a lot of people lose that creativity because of responsibilities and stuff like that. But that's what gets you to the next level, having that creativity and that, that imagination. Facts. I feel, like, I feel like a lot of people tend to forget about that to just don't take life too serious. Because like a lot of people just get caught up in the loop and just taking life serious. You got to live in the present moment. You may not have the house. That That's you, a might, yeah. you might not have the house you want or you know apartment you want. You gotta live in the present moment and just have fun and enjoy your life at a young age. That's why I'm asking what I'm doing now. I'm kind of enjoying myself right now. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people still stuck on the money shit. You know, worry about their bank account, worry about like how much money they got in their bank. Like, bro, niggas gotta understand that shit is not real. Money is not real. This shit is fake. It's all it's an fake. illusion. It's all it's illusion. and it's real. all put in place to keep people enslaved. That's the exactly, whole purpose man. of it. That's crazy. You said like, you got, like if people, it's like it's like a lot of into, like this world take life so serious, bro. To the point like damn, you you drain your own, all your energy and, and chasing money. No nigga, you gotta like really chase love too, like. Spread love, man. I feel like that's what we need way more than we're just loving. Passion and purpose. Yeah, man. Like, I feel like love is way more important than money. Way yeah. more. You don't have enough. It's just money. Is a, I feel like money is the cause of the way this world is now. Exactly. Money Money is, is one it. of those I things. It. It's put in place to keep people controlled and keep people a slave because society that made it out to where now if you don't have money if you don't have material if you don't have all those things then you're behind that's the reason why the average motherfucker is, is stressing out if you really look around america right now nobody is really dealing with like there's some people that's dealing with real problems but majority of america and the majority of the people that's around the world that's quote unquote dealing with real problems they're only dealing with real problems because it's financial shit. most of our problems come from money yep you ever understand that like if you were, if you just was to remove money away from the equation, most people would be happy as fuck. No, nobody really have real problems outside of them having to pay rent, their car note due, their bills due. Like they got their kids got to eat. Like everything always stems from money. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if you're going, if you're living life just chasing money and not chasing passion and purpose, then you're never gonna be fulfilled. 
You're never going to be fulfilled. Even if you have a shit ton of money. Like, once you get that money, you're still going to be searching for more yeah. money. You're never going to be satisfied chasing money. Yep. That's why you got to yep. chase passion and purpose. Like, what you're doing right now with this YouTube shit. Like, you doing this shit because you genuinely like doing YouTube. I love it, you're man. You're not on here it. trying to... And that's why you're going to grow over time. Eventually, you're going to see your platform grow crazy because you're not one of those YouTubers that's out here chasing views and chasing money. You're just doing it because you enjoy doing it. Exactly. And that's how I was when I started. That's the only reason I grew on this shit. Facts. True to the people. Proud to the people. True to the people. Man. True to the people, man. True to the people. Man. You know, when, when are the black community, right? When is the black community actually going to start coming together to destroy the system? Honestly, I don't think it's ever going to be a time where they do. At least no time soon. Because over time, I mean, at least right now, like, we are all fucked up. We're, we're worried about the wrong shit. We're killing each other. We're doing exactly what these white elites want us to do. So until we start waking up and stop killing each other and doing the dumb shit and focus on the dumb shit, we're, we're never going to be looked at as a priority. So it all starts with us. I mean, at some point, we got to stop pointing a finger and realize that we're the ones that's doing the dumb shit. Is it is there is there any saving the black community from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, I, you can save it, but we got to be the ones that want to be saved at the end of the day. Until we, until we want to be saved, then that's one... Ain't shit gonna change until we wake up and say, you know what, we we gotta we gotta do something about this. We can't keep living like this, letting these people tell us what to do, trading in our time for money. So uh, that's what I think. I think it all starts with us. Interesting, interesting. As a black man, right, Tarak, as a black man, as a young man, you got a voice. You got a voice. <laughs> you got a voice, right? You got a voice for the kids and a voice for the people. In the near future, do you ever see yourself becoming... I feel like it can happen. It can happen. Do you ever see yourself becoming a, a black activist? Becoming an activist for the youth? I can see that. I can see that. I can definitely see that. And I, I, I would love to be a part of that. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm trying so hard to be uh, just more of a righteous person and be better than what I am now. Because, you know... I. Like, I'm not perfect, and I tell people that all the time. Like, I came from half of the, the same situations that a lot of other black men came up in. Like, I'm not special. I'm not no different than every other black man that's been born and raised in inner city. Um, but one thing I can't say about me is I'm authentic, and I'm, I'm thorough, and I'm true to myself. And I, like I said, I ain't perfect. I still got a lot of shit that I got to change within myself and battle. And, I, and that's why I'm trying to be more of a better man so I can be more of a better role model to the people that's watching me through these platforms and just to my family and loved ones and things of that nature. So I definitely can see that happening. That's good. You, you, you do got a voice. for the, You definitely do got a voice, man. You, you motivate a lot of people to keep going and give up certain things. Man. You, you, got, you got a voice for the people, man. You got a voice, man. I appreciate man. that. For real, you really do. A lot of people, people, a lot of people, man, are afraid to use their voice and speak up. Facts. That we got in the world, people are scared. People are scared, man. To use their voice out here. This is crazy. <laughs> um, what, what do you, what do you think about uh, uh, racism? Uh, I think that stuff's still going on right now. I think it's just in a different form. But I, I feel like it's still going on right. Now. I think that's something that's never going to change, though. You know, I, and it, and it's different. It's deeper than it just being because we're black. That's what I want people to realize. I mean, when you really do heavy research on the on the reasons why we're the most hated race, then you'll realize why we're the most powerful. And don't let that mm. go over your head. Oh shit! You want to be on deal with you want? Motherfuckers want to be like us. <laughs> Motherfuckers want to be like us, man. I tell people this all the time. I always ask people, why do you think these white folks hate us? We didn't do shit to nobody. We just black. Or at least that's what they want us to think. We're just black and we're just hated because we're black. But when you do real research on us black folks, you will realize how powerful we really are. Like we are carbonated beings. We we are way, we're, we're more powerful than what the fuck these people think. And that's why they hate us. 
That's why they do their best with trying to put certain things in our community so we can stop reproducing. This is why liquor stores is on every corner. This is why all the unhealthy fucking food places is in the hood and in the inner cities where the black kids is. This is why it's gun violence in every fucking... Where is this stuff coming from? That's the question that people got to ask. Where is the drugs coming from? Where are the guns coming from? Where is all this bad shit coming from that we intaking and pitting in our communities? And why are they doing that? That's the next question. Why are they doing that? Because they know our true power. Their, their whole job is to keep you from knowing your true power. Keep you enslaved. Facts. Facts. More, I feel like most of these drugs and shit like that come from like different countries too. Different yeah, countries. Different, different, different parts of the cities and shit. Um... Yeah, the whole racism thing, I, I, I'll never understand. And oh, it's always gonna be around. It's crazy, and a lot of people don't don't get the fact that like there, there's a lot of people that are different in color, man. A lot of people, we, well, I, I, I feel like there's there's a race, there's other races who who hate other races. Like mm -hmm. it, it, it's crazy, man. Like like it, it's weird to me. It's weird. Cause we all just different. Up. We all just different, and that's we all just different. You're all just born with different colors, different language. It's different. Exactly. Different. Born differently, man. We, 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 we didn't ask to be black. We didn't ask to be white. I didn't <laughs> ask to be black. Like, I, I, like for example, you could have been born from a Chinese lady. I could have right. been born from, you know what I'm saying, a, a Jamaican lady. Like, yo, we, we didn't ask to be this way. We just, this, this how we were born. Shit, like that's 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 out of our control. <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn, <laughs> like <Right>. like damn. <laughs> Word, it was crazy, yo. It was crazy. Word. <laughs> Fuck that fire, man. <laughs> sure, man. What what does it feel like to be twenty two? Um, overwhelming as fuck. That's the only thing I can say about adulthood. This shit is overwhelming as fuck. But it's one of those things where it's like it's a blessing. I I mean I can't I can't even complain because I'm I'm just glad to still be alive. I'm glad to still age. You know, it's people that's my age that can't even say that because they're not here no more. And it's also people that's my age that's 22 that's spending the rest of their life in a fucking prison system. So I'm just blessed. I'm blessed to be free and I'm blessed to be alive and I'm, 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 I'm appreciative. God is the greatest. Facts. Two to the people. Facts. Two to the people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, damn. What do you What do you think about men, right, bringing kids into the world and just like just not taking care of their kids? Coward. I don't like people like that. I think it's a coward move to do. Um. I feel like what makes what makes a man a man or one of the things that makes a man a man is being able to own up to your shit and be able to know when you're wrong. Like it's one of those hard things to do because it fucks your ego up. Like a lot of men have pride and ego to where they don't like to identify when they're wrong, when they know they're wrong. But like mm -hmm. if you if you making choices, bro, you gotta just deal with the choices that you didn't make. If you out here having kids with girls and shit like that. Just take care of your kids. Them kids ain't asked to be here, man. Take care of your kids and handle your responsibilities as a man. Don't sit here and leave. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't. I don't respect that. I don't think that that's something that men should be doing. True. True. It just place a lot of work on a woman, man. A lot of work on a woman. Yeah. Shoot, man. Shoot. What like what what's some tips you can like give the people to like the content creators, even myself on like how to start a brand like uh, merchandise, like what are stuff to be like to create your own your own merch merchandise. Um, have an idea. That's number one. Have an idea on how you want your brand to to be, and save up enough money to where you can make your brand um, popping. You know what I mean? Because the, the the first thing is like a lot of people ain't really gonna invest in your brand if it ain't invest worthy. So don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Don't be afraid to spend that that money or go that extra mile to get your your brand out there and do heavy research. Like like for example, if you're trying to make a clothing brand, study other clothing brands that you want your clothing brand to be similar like and see how they move. 
you know, study how they promote their brand, study how they promote their Instagram, like watch them. Like even like with YouTube, like what you do on YouTube, like don't be afraid to study other YouTubers and see what they doing. And 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 like that, that's how you grow, studying people that's better than you and your niche. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So if I'm trying to make clothes, I'm not going to be watching people that's up under me. I'm going to watch people that's doing way better than me in my same niche. Okay, he's posting like this. He's doing this. Okay, I'm going to do that. Like even like with titles on YouTube, like I used to take titles on YouTube because I didn't know how to come up with my own titles. So I used to watch the guys on YouTube like, okay, this is how he's titling his shit. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this title. Don't be afraid to do that. It's all about marketing. You got to learn how to market yourself. That's the only way you're going to grow on these platforms and just doing anything that got to do with entrepreneurship. You got to be able to, to be a thinker and to study the game. And sometimes studying the game, sometimes you got to take those titles. Sometimes you got to copy and paste the title or something to get your, your channel popping. Sometimes you got to clickbait. Sometimes you got to have a thumbnail that's a little like over the top to get people to, it's Facts. all about, it's all about marketing at the end of the day. Facts. True to the people, true to the people. Mm-hmm. True to that's the people. That's what I was there. True. Um, how much do you care about money in general? How, how much do you care about money? I don't. I don't really give a fuck about it at all. The only reason I'm at a point now where I, I'm, I'm taking better care of my money is because I'm a lot older and I understand I have responsibilities and things like that that I have to take care of. So I don't really. I wouldn't necessarily say I care about it, but I, I like having it. I'm gonna say that. I don't really give a fuck about it because, like, all honesty, if I had a shit ton of money right now, that shit would be getting spent. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. Facts, throw it all. Facts. that shit would be getting spent, bro. I'm blowing that motherfucker like crazy. I'm buying whatever the fuck I want. I'm doing what I want. Like, that's the type of relationship I got with money. Like, I don't really give a fuck about it. Like, I will spend that shit till I ain't got no more. <laughs> But when you get older, you got responsibility, so you can't really handle money like how you you would if you were a kid. But I don't really give a fuck about money. Like even when I get rich, like I'm I'm not even gonna be fucking holding on to that shit. Like I'm gonna be buying everybody else shit. I'm gonna just be blowing money like crazy. To the people, yeah, me personally, like it's like I don't really care about money at all. Really, at the same time, cause like you gotta make that money back anyway. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I don't really worry too much. I don't really worry too much, really. I really don't. I think that's the, that's how you keep yourself sane, though, as an adult. Like, when you separate the... When you keep money out of your mind, like, oh, having that... Me. Yeah, that shit will overwhelm you, man. Just caring about money all the time and worrying about money, 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 money. That shit will have you stressed out. That's why I just... I, I try not to give a fuck about it, like... And put your put you in that um in that panic mode, a worry mode type shit. Yeah. I will, I will. So I'm saying like you just gotta chill with that man. Like I will put you in that state of mind that like bro, I will want you it's gonna pick you up. I will want you up. I will. Yeah, well it's it's all an illusion at the end of the day. Fuck that money shit. The money will come. Chase passion and purpose. Yeah. The money will come. True to the people, true to the people. J Rock, these niggas still fucking with you. What do you gotta say to niggas that still calling you a fucking uh fucking scammer and shit? Honestly, nothing to be honest. I don't really say anything to the people. Like I still get people with my DMs talking shit. Not necessarily saying scammer, but like just talking shit overall about like my platforms and things of that nature. I don't really feed it no mind anymore. I used to, like when I was on YouTube, I don't really pay a lot of this shit no mind no more, to be honest. I kind of just take it how I come because that's just a part of the territory. Yeah, niggas, people, niggas. People, what yeah. you about to say? Nigga, they gonna try to knock you down anyway. You yeah, it's just what, it, it's what come with the, the territory. And um, as far as the situation goes, because I don't even think I ever spoke on a situation on like a, a platform and like that but as far as the yeah. situation even goes it was a feature that i was supposed to get done um because i had like five features that day and I, I had i was doing a sale that day i remember i was doing a sale for features and i had like five features i had got done that day 
including the guy's feature that called me a scammer. I did mm-hmm. the feature, but I, I forgot to send the, the song to him because I had so much fucking features that day. So I forgot to send the song to him the whole time I had the song already done. I just forgot to send it over. Instead of the guy reaching out to me and, and calling me on Instagram and things of that nature, he immediately went on fucking YouTube and tried exposing me. That's when I got pissed off because it's like, bro, I don't have no reason to expose you out of 100 bucks. Like even like w- with me and you. Like if something come up, I'm gonna let you know something came up. Like yeah. I don't have no reason to just yeah. run off with your fucking money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I just didn't like how the guy just went straight on YouTube, just trying to get cloud off my name when he could have easily fucking emailed me or you know. And even if I didn't respond back, give me time to respond, bro. Like I got DMs flooded. Like I'm not just yeah, gonna respond yeah. like this. How the niggas in DMs? <laughs> exactly, bro. So that's the only thing I ain't fuck with. But other than that, like all blessings to him. I don't. There's no hate. It's no beef. I just had to get that out of the way because I know a lot of people wanted to know that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people. A lot of just a lot. Yo, it's on, it's on YouTube. It's and then you see YouTube. how it was a domino effect after that. Like you see how all these other people trying to come out and make it seem like I was just some fucking scammer. That's the only guy, literally the only guy that came out and said that I took his fucking money. Then you got all these other people making YouTube yeah. videos saying I'm a scammer. The whole time I didn't even get money from half you people that's on YouTube saying I'm a scammer. So how am I scamming y'all? Dude, there's a lot. There's other people. Uh, there's a lot of short pages too that, that I start seeing. Like a lot of people trying to, you know what I'm saying? I exactly. see a lot, a lot of interviews trying to, they're trying to get you. The whole time it was one person that can say that I didn't send him his song. So where's all these other people coming from that saying I'm fucking scamming them? Show the proof. Show the receipts that y'all sent me money right. that I scammed. I never right. seen a short of y'all showing receipts other than that one person that I didn't send the song to. So I don't know, man. I thought it was strange. <laughs> like, yo, nigga time, man. Yo, nigga time most of your brain. That's what it is. They trying to fuck up the brand, but it's it's like, come on, everybody that know me knows, like, nigga, just reach out. Like, I have no reason to take your money. Like, even like with this shit, if if I wasn't, um, cause I was, I was thinking because I was gonna have to reschedule this shit again, cause I had some shit going on this morning. Like, even if that was the case, I would have sent you your bread back, and we could have did it another time. Like, I'm not out to take nobody's fucking money. Facts. Like, Facts. That ain't that ain't my stilo. I don't run off with people bread. <laughs> Two to the people, word. Two to the people, bro. Two to the people, two to the people, bro. Just keep keep striving. Just keep striving, bro. Mm-hmm. Facts. Um, shit, man. When I mean, do you see? When you do you see yourself hitting the mill? One million subscribers. Uh, on yeah. Once I get back serious and finally get my head out of the clouds, then mo- most definitely. You know, I just fine, man. My mind just in all type of different places right now, but definitely when I get my head back focused into this shit, I'm definitely gonna be hitting that million. I can't, I can't stop now. Like I didn't, I didn't accomplish too much to stop right here. Yeah, your growth was crazy though. Yeah, your coming, your, your evolvement was crazy though. The yeah. numbers you was doing, a million, million views. I said it was crazy, crazy. I needed this moment though. I'm, I'm so glad that it happened. The comeback is about to be even crazier. Like I think that's the comeback gonna be even crazier. I I needed this moment to really analyze shit. Like, and that's that's my like advice to anybody that's trying to blow up or do anything. Like, be careful who you bring with you, man. Because the moment you fall off and the moment you're not where you used to be, people are gonna leave. All them girls gonna leave. All them homeboys that was rocking with you gonna leave. My fuckers only be around you because you popping in the moment. As soon as you go mm-hmm. broke, as soon as you things happen. Too. Yeah, they leave. They never get comfortable. The moment you start building the traction and you start getting the 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 stuff you're looking for out of this shit, do not get comfortable, bro. Because the same way you got it, the same way it can be taken away, just like that. Facts. A lot, a lot of people get too comfortable, man. And sometimes, I'm like, I know, I know, a lot of people say this, right? A lot of people say, "Be patient." It's like. What do you what do you feel about how you feel about when people say you know be patient type shit? Um, I feel like it's the key to success. Like patience mm. is the key. I think the reason a lot of reasons why a lot of people don't reach where they want to go is because they're not patient. Like things ain't gonna happen overnight. Like every single person that's successful, 
that's great. Like Conor McGregor, for example, it took that man 10 years to get to the UFC, 10 fucking years of failing, going broke, all type of shit yeah. just for him to get to the UFC. Years? I, I didn't even know that. Most that's successful crazy. people, it takes them years to get to where they want to be. You know what I mean? And that's just that's just what comes with success. Like, if you want to be successful, it's going to take years of sacrifice. It's going to take years of, of going through shit. It's going to take years of going broke. Sometimes you're going to spend your money on, on your business, and it, it might be a bad investment. Like, it's, it's a lot that come with this shit. I done wasted a lot of money in this shit and went through a lot of stuff. And I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm not going to give up because I understand that where I want to go is going to take time. So, Damn. Yeah, this, this shit take time, man. <laughs> Ten years. I didn't even know that about Conor McGregor. That shit, wow. Ten years. I, he got a documentary on YouTube. Because I like to watch documentaries. Like That's one of the things I, I like doing is I like to study the great people. Like I like to study people that I'm intrigued with. Like, And I like to see how they were able to go through certain things to get to where they were at. And it took these people years, bro. Like all these people we be thinking blew up overnight. That's just what you see through the internet, but nobody sees the sacrifices and the shit that go on when it came progress to too. The progress. Yeah. The progress. Yeah, they, 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 they just evolve over time. Yeah. It's always about evolving. You all evolve. How you feel about uh sellouts? I don't rock with sellouts, man. I don't rock with people <laughs> that take shortcuts. <laughs> I don't, I don't rock with sellouts. It's uh, a lot of people. It's a lot of people that be selling out to get to where they want to be. But you will never last being a sellout. The right. people that's at the top that last long is the people that that stayed through it all and they didn't sell their soul or sell out or do no clout chasing shit to reach the top. Like a lot of these YouTube niggas doing all these clout chasing ass videos to reach the top. Don't be like that. Fuck that shit. You yeah, you're gonna get the clout, you're gonna get the views, but how long is that shit gonna stay? Yep. That's that's the real question. You know, when you chasing clout, people are only around for the, that that clout situation. They're not there for you. You know, when you build your shit from the ground up, you your shit going to stick because people fucking with you for who you is. They're not fucking with you just for the content. They fucking with you because they actually genuinely like you as a person. Facts. Facts. That's what Wait, I think. It's a door. It's a door. <laughs> this is a door. When you're platinum and you're getting 50000 a show, I've been there. There's a door that you can walk in. I'm not sure if it's home or if it's Illuminati. I just didn't take that door. I went straight. This is, listen, this is, when you get to, when you get to a level of success, when you're getting 30, 40, 50000 a show, you platinum, you're running across the world, there's, a, there's three different doors, right? There's three different ways to walk. There's to the left. There's to the right, and then there's straight. Straight is your own, your own. Let's see if you continue this success, young man. Let's see if it was all about your skills, young man. Let's really see that. Okay. And you went straight. To the right? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's right there. And then there's to the left. I'm not sure if there's some sacrifice shit going on right there. I'm not sure because I was. Nah, he ain't lying. No. But I was offered these doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Word. Yeah. Niggas selling out. Niggas definitely be selling out, man. Because yeah, you get you get uh, money fast. When you sell out, you get everything you want in one big shebang. Nobody want to go that extra mile. They want to just sell out. They want to, you know, it's crazy how that shit works. I, I couldn't see myself being a fucking sellout. Like I, I just couldn't see that. I couldn't <laughs> see that happening. And it's like the after effect of it too. The after effect. That shit ain't gonna make you happen after that. Yeah, because you know what the fuck you did to get the money. It's like when you sell out, you're doing it's it's certain shit you have to do to get that money. You're not just gonna get the fucking money to get the money. That's what a sellout is somebody that goes against their morals and principles for some fucking money. Whether that's you doing some gay shit for some money, you putting on a dress for some money, promoting some fucking fingernail polish for some money. Anything that goes against your morals and principles as a man is being a sellout. 
So if you know, if you know you're not the type of nigga to throw on a fucking dress, but if these people offered you 250 million to throw on the dress, then you're a fucking sellout because you wouldn't do that shit if you wasn't offered that money. Yup. You got niggas like Kevin Hart. Yeah, these uh, rapping ass niggas. You got these rappers throwing on motherfucking fingernail polish. Then they think it ain't gay to do it. How ain't that gay? How how ain't it not gay to throw on fucking fingernail polish? That don't even make no fucking sense. Oh, we you know I throw it on, but that didn't mean I ain't gay. I'm just just expressing myself. (laughs) How the fuck is that expressing yourself? You can't express yourself in other ways. You got to throw on fucking fingernail polish. That's that, but that shit is like it be blowing me, bro. We done normalized all this gay ass shit. That shit ain't right. Normalize, normalize. Right. It's not good for the kids, man. It ain't good for the motherfucking kids. Especially the youngins out here. They they getting. I know you seen that one when I was that shit. Yeah, I got a video dropping on that shit tomorrow. So unless we we know we gonna stay locked in, we gonna stay tuned for that. We gonna stay tuned for that. That shit was crazy. This nigga's wildin'. He wildin'. Right here, bro. Niggas wildin', yo. This nigga little eye neck, little eye sex, bugging, yo. Shoot, man. Damn. My like, damn. <laughs> uh, shoot, man. Uh, we, what is a good message for today, man? A good message for the morning. Don't let hard times get the best of you. Hard times is temporary. As a man, you got to take this shit how it come, man. Some days you're going to have days where you feel weak. Some days you're going to have days where people plan on your top. Some days you're going to have days where you spend a lot of money and you just fuck up a bag. Some days you're going to have days where your girl tripping and life just ain't on your side. But as a nigga, you got to remain solid and you got to keep pushing through all them obstacles and you're going to thank yourself years to come. Don't fold. Don't give in to the devil's work. Because the devil work up here. That's what people got to understand. The devil is, is, is a state of mind. He fuck with you up here. You know what I mean? As long as you stay level-headed and you keep your mind focused on what you need to focus on, the devil ain't even going to be able to fuck with you. He ain't even going to be able to get in here. Because you so locked the fuck in. So that, that's the message for today. Remain remain positive through everything you're dealing with. Even, even with people too. People get under your skin, man. For real, yeah. you're gonna your skin. And, and, That's and, life as a man. Life as a man, you will be tested. That's what I had to learn. You will be tested. There's no way out. You're gonna be tested, whether that's from other people, whether that's from your peers, family members, your parents, outside world. You're gonna be tested. But you just can't let let it get to you. You just gotta understand that's a part of life. It is what the fuck it is. Yep. Two to the people, power to the people. On the real, real talk. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Shoot, man. You have any questions for me before we end the live here? Uh, nah, I don't really got any questions today other than just keep grinding, my boy. Keep doing your thing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of your, your growth. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your ass at the top, my boy. Oh, yeah. We we, we on good up there, man. The workout videos uh, yeah. will be consistent, man. No, I actually seen I actually seen some of your your fitness. Um, I was looking at your fitness channel and I was looking at some of that shit. You got to keep growing on there, man. Yeah, a lot a lot of people supporting it. Yeah, that, that's. It. I might just stay on. I might. I'm still gonna be doing my little, you know, interview shit, but I might like actually start doing that shit daily. You know what I'm saying? Nah, do that shit, bro, because you never daily. know like what you will blow up on. Like you never know. Like that might even be your calling. Like you got to do a bunch of different Facts. shit. You never know what be all it like I said, bro. All it takes is that one video. Like all it takes is that one video to blow up and you out of there. You just gotta keep making a bunch of different stuff. And make sure you're using really good titles and tags. And like I said, don't be afraid to take titles and tags. Like this is YouTube at the end of the day. So you gotta treat this shit like any other business. You gotta do what you gotta do to stand out. It's it's millions of YouTubers doing exactly what the fuck you doing. But they're only better than you at it because they're standing out better. Whole time they're probably not even better than you talent wise, but they're only better and at the top because they're more of a marketing genius than you are. So I always remember that shit. There's people out there that's bigger than you that you better than, but they're only getting more attraction because they're better. They're a better marketer. So always remember that shit. Just keep keep grinding, keep posting. You're gonna get there. 
Facts. True to the people. True to the people. Real talk. Yeah, man. Everybody's got to keep doing what they're doing, man. Don't uh, stress yeah. it. Keep, keep doing what y'all doing. You're going gonna, gonna to be good at that, man. For sure. A lot of people are afraid to take that step, man. When would this, when would this episode be out? Oh. Throughout the months, like throughout this month, and all my way released it. Throughout the months, it's gonna be released. All right. So say about March. Okay. It comes out throughout the month, so I just schedule each one. It could be every day, it could be every other day. Clips are gonna all be. Right. Yeah, I wanna know if you got those clips that I sent you. I did get them. I ain't get a chance to open them up, but I, I did get them. In fact. When I get off of here, I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna I'm throw one on my my ground. I just haven't had the chance to really like get into all that shit yet. Yeah, hopefully that shit don't come out blurry or nothing. Hope it's just clear and shit. That shit, you, 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 you got an Android, you know. <laughs> nah, you should be straight. <laughs> what? You should be straight though. And uh, I'm gonna make some. I gotta make some thumbnails. I used up all your photos from your, from your gram. Oh, uh, all right. I'm gonna send you some new ones then. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got a lot, a lot of thumbnails to make for um La Rock and you. I did, I did an interview with La Rock right. like a month ago. So like, I gotta make some thumbnails with that shit too. So like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm doing a lot of thumbnails today, a lot. So I'm, yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm doing a lot of editing too. So. Well, yeah. Keep grinding, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate you uh, having me on your platform, man. You already know where to find me if you need some more content, bro. I appreciate you for supporting me this long. Yeah, anytime, bro. Anytime, man. I'm around, man. I'm around. Real talk. Anytime, bro. Real talk. Uh, yeah. You, but I'm about you, to go ahead and um, I'm going to find some more clips. I'm going to try to see some different shit that ain't on my ground, though. So I'm going to find you some pictures that I'm going to send it to you. And I'm going to also check my uh, my email and, and find one of those clips and put it out. Best your less. We are gonna keep working for sure. All year we working all year. And Hell yeah! Year. For real, we are gonna get you gonna lit. You gonna get lit. You know? Yeah, you. I'm, I'm gonna come up with some ideas. I'm gonna come up with some ideas of what we can do on live, like some fire show on live. Hell yeah! Ask me some deep shit. I'm trying to get deep in this, John. I'm trying yeah. to talk about all type of shit. Anything, so. anything like freestyling, anything on live, some something fire, something fire. I want, I want to start doing shit, different shit, man. I'm gonna, come uh, yeah. with, I'm gonna come up with some new new stuff, man. It's gonna it's gonna be lit though. We we got some fun and shit for real. Hell yeah, that's what I'm waiting on, man. It's gonna be like, I can't work all oh, year. Be working, bro. All oh, year. Appreciate you for coming on here. Hell yeah, I appreciate you, man. Enjoy your day, bro. You too, man. Be safe. Let's get that on.